Hi, this is Tiffany again at LA Trade Tech College and I'm going to be doing a demonstration of a flat felt seam. What I've done is I have pre-cut two pieces of muslin and again the notches are indicated in red. Once again you would not notch your fabric in red ink. I'm only doing that so that you can see the demonstration. Um, if you'll notice these two fabrics are notched differently. This one is notched at a three-quarter inch seam allowance and this one is notched at a three-eighth inch seam allowance. What you're going to do is you're going to take your fabric and you're going to put notch on top of notch. You're going to line up the notches, one on top of the other. And when you do that, you're going to end up with a three-eighth inch extension. This extension here is needed because this extension is going to fold over the raw edge of the fabric. So just know that when you're lining up the notches, the fabric is not going to end in the same place. Once you have put the fabric together, notch on top of notch, we're going to run a seam along here, single needle, three quarter inch away from this edge. I'm going to place the fabric here. The needle is lining up with the notch. The edge of my fabric is lining up with the three quarter inch guide on my plate. I'm going to begin the stitch with the back stitch. I'm going to wheel this two or three times to lock the thread. I'm going to back stitch and I'm going to continue straight down. At three quarters of an inch seam allowance. I'm going to back stitch at the end. And then I'm going to clip here. I'm clipping close to my work and leaving a tail of thread at the machine. I'm going to clip this thread here. The next step is to iron. What we're going to do is we are going to take this and we are going to cover up or lap over the raw edge of this fabric. That's the first thing we're going to do. The second thing we're going to do after that's done is this is going to be completely ironed down so that all of the raw edges are encased. This is the right side of the fabric and this is the wrong side of the fabric. So now I'm going to go to the iron. Okay, once you have put your single needle in, we're going to come to the iron and we're going to just press this flat to start with. You're just pressing over the seam you just did. Now, the reason the fabric extends is because we're going to be covering up this raw edge right here. So we're going to take this edge of the fabric and cover up this raw edge. And we're going to fold it from end to end like this. And then we're just going to press that down in place. Once that's pressed in place, we're going to open the work and we're going to continue pressing in the same direction. This way all of the raw edges are going to be encased. This is what the inside of the garment looks like and this is what the outside of the garment looks like. So if I were to undo this, this is how it would look. The raw edge is here, we've covered it up here and we continue folding this way And now we're going to press it flat. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to run a single needle stitch along the edge. So I'm lining this up so that my needle is between a sixteenth and an eighth of an inch away from this folded edge. I'm going to back stitch and I'm going to continue straight down. And I'm going to back stitch at the edge. And this is what my finished seam looks like. And this is a flat felled seam.